What if a humanoid robot could help you with some of your tedious and repetitive daily tasks? You might be wondering what's on the agenda for today. Humanoid robots, as we all know, are the most exciting aspect of robotics. Apart from making our daily lives easier and more interesting, we would live in a world where machines with faces and emotions, rather than machines without faces, served us. Humanoid robots have the potential to pave the way for a future in which humans, robots, and other AIs cohabit and interact in a mutually humane and synergetic environment. And in today's video, we will be taking a peek at the top 10 humanoid robots we have in 2022. Hello and welcome back to the AI universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. So with that further delay, let's dive into today's topic. Number 1. Collaborative Humanoids the vast majority of humanoid robots are designed to work alongside humans. The next generation bot from Kavada Robotics, for example, is a humanoid research environment for industrial robots in the age of Industry 4.0. Armar, developed by the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology in Germany, was designed to conduct supervision and maintenance tours in industrial environments alongside human personnel. Walker, created by UB Tech Robotics, is another example. On the other hand, this bot is designed to work alongside humans in their homes. The humanoid's manipulators have seven degrees of flexibility, allowing it to perform household activities as well as a smart home control. Number 2. Educational Robot Let's use a teaching bot to take some notes. Pepper from SoftBank Robotics was created to be a considerate, emotions-reading assistant who might work as a host in a store or even as a nanny. Isn't that incredible? Pepper now comes with TEFAS, an Educational Integrated Programming Environment IDE, that was created to teach students how to code. Learners can program the humanoid to move, talk, gesticulate and display various messages on its screen in real time, using the software. This initiative to inspire the next generation of engineers and roboticists is supported by the firm. Number 3. Robonaut Let's go into some space-related topics. A number of countries are working on humanoids for use in space exploration. In December 2020, Vyamitra, a female humanoid robot developed in India, will launch on an unmanned mission. Microgravity testing will be carried out by the robot to aid in the preparation of future crewed missions. Fedor, also known as the Final Experimental Demonstration Item Research, was a Russian remotely operated humanoid who went to the International Space Station, ISS, in 2019. During a spacewalk, it made repairs and then returned to Earth. These bots require a high level of precision and accuracy, which is expected in their development. NASA's Johnson Space Center has worked on a number of humanoid robots, including the Robonaut 2 and the Valkyrie, which spent seven years aboard the International Space Station. Future spacefaring humanoids will logically be designed to resist the harsh environments of the Moon or Mars. Number 4. Robotic Actor This one may pique your interest a little. Yes, this character is based on artificial intelligence. Engineered Arts is a UK-based company founded in 2004 by director Will Jackson, with the goal of creating various entertainment humanoids through a collaboration of artists, mechanical and computer engineers, and animators. The well-known Robo Thespian, for example, is a robotic actor who arrives with an archive of impressives, opinions, greetings, songs, and even motions. Several of these can be put together to suit a robotic theater, an integrated system of robots, movements, tracks, animation software, touchscreen control, lighting, sound, and external device control. The firm is now working on strengthening Robo Thespian's capacity to walk independently, but for now, the activity can be staged through a concealed system of pods and dollies. Number 5. Robotic Bartender Kime. Kime is a food and beverage serving robot designed in Spain by Macro Robotics. Within a kiosk, the bot has a human-like head and body, as well as two arms. Earlier versions of the bot were tested at gas stations across Europe and in a Spanish brewery. Kaim has earned a reputation for being a competent beer pourer who can handle up to 300 glasses each hour. The bot has up to 14 to 20 degrees of freedom, is equipped with smart sensors and use machine learning to improve its abilities. Who knows, maybe next time you go to the bar, you'll be served by one. Number 6. Digital Humanoids Digital humanoids resemble humans in appearance and behavior, but are entirely virtual. Samsung Technology and Advanced Research, or Star Labs, is a superb illustration of this. Neons are AI-powered entities with a variety of personalities and appearances. 
These humanoids, unlike Alexa or Siri, are not programmed to respond to a wide range of questions. They are still expected to show emotions, learn from their experiences, and engage in genuine debates. Each Neon bot is computer-produced and not based on real humans, and each can be tailored for a certain job, such as a virtual doctor or even a friend. That's fantastic, right? It's as if you had a virtual companion with you at all times, assisting you in all aspects of your day. Number 7. Research Humanoid Serena robots have been a labor of love for mechanical engineers at the Iranian University of Tehran since 2010. Serena 4, their most recent model, is an adult-sized humanoid that can detect faces and objects, recognize and generate language and speech, and even walk at a pace of 0.7 km per hour. It has 43 degrees of flexibility and can grasp a variety of shapes thanks to its helping hands. Serena will be used by engineers to study bipedal locomotion, artificial intelligence, and persuade students to pursue robotics engineering professions. In comparison to other robots, the bot's arena might not be as fascinating. Number 8. Delivery Robot Digit Ford was the first customer to integrate agility robotics into an industrial environment. According to a report released in January, the headless humanoid is equipped with sensors and features, flexible and dynamic limbs. It can navigate a variety of terrain, including stairs, obstacles, and geography. It can walk on one foot, but prefers to walk straight and is capable of picking up and stacking boxes weighing up to 40 pounds. Also, it can tuck away for compact storage. Ford envisions this bot driving a self-driving car and delivering products to clients, effectively automating the delivery process. For the time being, the company will be testing how humans react to working with this robot. Number 9. Robotic Ambassador Sophia is perhaps one of the most recognizable faces of humanoids among people. Sophia is a social humanoid made by Hanson Robotics in Hong Kong. This year, the four-year-old AI-powered robot will continue her work as a robotic ambassador, supporting the expansion of robotics and human-robot interactions research. Sophia can walk, talk, draw, sing, and even express certain emotions after being raised by humans. Number 10. Robotic Avatar Finally, let's look into number 10. Toyota first announced this idea in the year 2017. The THR3 is a conventional humanoid robot that can mimic its human operator's actions in real time. The THR3 has been modified for the Tokyo Olympics and now has improved controls and can walk more naturally. These bots, which are most likely to be used as a mobility service in the future, will be able to do surgery while their controllers, human surgeons, supervise them from afar. It can also help caregivers work from home or individuals who require assistance to live a more self-sufficient life. That's a huge plus for society, right? Take for example the scenario of a disabled person. He or she would require a great lot of assistance from their family. So here's where the THR3 comes into play. This promotes self-reliance and self-satisfaction in the individual. Tomohisa Morodaira, the THR3 team's development leader, noted that a humanoid shape is advantageous, since the bot can use the same tools and environment as a human, but it's also easier for humans to oversee robots in this form. Humanoid robots have a lot of advantages and merits, as giving a robot a humanoid form and an expressive and reactive human-like face will tend to bias people to interact with the bot as if it really had human emotions, understanding, and culture. But this can also be harmful in some cases, so it's important to make sure that people understand what kind of device they're interacting with. So why do we need these humanoid robots in the first place? Is it really necessary to have AI in our everyday lives? Drop your views in the comments section below. On that note, we hope you have enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon as well. And we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.